Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, where is Windows 11 heading in 2025? What do we know is going to happen in 2025? So, one of the first things that's going to happen is a continuation of the rollout of 24H2. And this will also add features of 24H2 that are not there yet. So 24H2 did roll out for a lot of people, but it's missing on a lot of features that are promised to be in there at some point. So this means that uh, we will have to look at some of the new features coming out that will, of course, change the way Windows 11 um, works in many aspects. We are waiting for a rollout of a start menu that will actually be different uh, and will include a, a different way of displaying the uh, icons and so on of your different apps. Uh, we're waiting for a file explorer that will actually have new features that aren't there yet. So there will be things happening with that rollout. So 24H2 plus the new features of 24H2. In terms of PCs compatible with, uh, or that are called Copilot plus PCs, uh, the other thing is it's going to be the rollout of recall in the Copilot plus PCs. Right now, it's still being tested in inside rings. Uh, this is something that will eventually be on the um, ARM devices, the Snapdragon ARM devices that have uh, the Copilot Plus PC capabilities. And we know that eventually uh, Intel and uh, AMD Copilot Plus PCs, so processors that have NPUs, will get the feature um, rolling out there too. So for the standard x64 that we have, Copilot Plus PCs is not a possibility because there's no NPU. And um, that means that recall will not be there. Some people are complaining that they see recall in Windows 11 24H2 standard PC. It has nothing to do really with what recall is. Um, it So that's the rollout coming up. And of course we will have 25H2. 25H2 will be the next big update. Uh, how big? That's a question that we don't know. Uh, is it going to be some really big feature update for everybody? Is it going to be some little minor update? Uh, even 24H2, which is technically called a big update, isn't that big of an update. And most people don't see much difference in anything. So, of course, more improvements coming in the way that Windows 11 is. And that's going to be pretty much what we're going to have in 2025. Rollout of 24H2 is going to continue. Uh, of course, all of you on 23H2 uh, will have until November of next year to move on to 24H2, which will be, of course, mandatory at that point. And uh, 25H2 will be the new version. Uh, each version of Windows 11, of course, is good for 24 months of support. So we'll see what happens next um, and what is going to be uh, the market share of Windows 11 throughout the year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.